Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Hey, thanks for joining me today uh, as we get a couple minutes in the Word of God. We're in Acts chapter 16, verse 5, so if you have your Bibles, go ahead and turn to Acts chapter 16, verse 5. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pray for us, and we'll read this verse together. Father, thank you for the work of your spirit in the church 2,000 years ago, and we pray, God, for a renewed work of your spirit in the church today. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, the Bible, it says in verse 5, so the churches were strengthened in the faith, and they increased in numbers daily. So the churches were were strengthened, excuse me, in the faith, and they increased in numbers daily. So Paul and Silas have, you know, made their land route to um, ancient Asia Minor, modern day Turkey. um, And they're just going, they're going village by village, church by church. The the churches that they planted, or at least that Paul planted, and that Silas is meeting for the very first time. In the preceding verses, you know, Paul picks up Timothy. And and, and yet, like the, the story is, as they're making their way, from, from east to west across Asia Minor, the result is the churches were strengthened and they were strengthened in the faith. Paul was, without a doubt, teaching the word. Um, Paul was encouraging them in their faith. Paul was helping them to take what they learn and to apply it practically in their life. There was real ministry that was happening in the early church, the ministry of Paul and, and Silas. And, and the result is people were encouraged to walk by faith. And then in addition to that, the church began to increase or to multiply. So the churches began to grow numerically. As, as believers were maturing in their faith, as they were encouraged to take steps of faith and to share the gospel, the result was the church itself began to multiply. You know, I think I think this is really important. It's a really important message for today's church because sometimes, sometimes the factors that we're looking at to attract people to church are the buildings, um, you know, the coffee shop, the production. By that I mean the sound quality and the video, um, the quality of the worship team, the quality of the preaching and. I'm not saying that any of those things are necessarily um, bad or wrong, um, but you will notice that none of those things were the factors that caused the early church to grow. You say, well, what did cause the early church to grow? What caused the early church to grow uh, was the disciples. It was the believers in those communities being a witness, being a light to the lost people around them. Look, the early church didn't just rely on the clergy to do the work of growing the church. Um, The early church for sure did not rely on institutionalism or professionalism. Um, They weren't looking to aspects of being relevant to the culture around them. No, they took the responsibility of of discipleship multiplication upon themselves. Like every one of them understood it was their responsibility to be fulfilling the great commission. And and this is how churches grow. This is how churches grow. When I, I say this from time to time on a Sunday service, I'll say, man, you guys are the biggest missions work that we do every weekend. You come, you worship God, um, you get built up in your faith, You are equipped for the work of the ministry, and then you go out into the city of Las Vegas or wherever you live, um, and you're a light to the lost. You know, you're out influencing on a daily basis, and that really is the work of the ministry. That, at the end of the day, is how church has grown. So um, I want to encourage you, all right, and I want to encourage you after I ask you a question, and the question is this. When's the last time you invited somebody to a church service? 
when's the last time you invited somebody to a church service? Now, I know some of you are thinking, well, wait a minute, you know, I mean, that's not really witnessing. Inviting someone to church isn't witnessing, and I get that, and I don't necessarily disagree with that, but let's start with low-hanging fruit, okay? Because evangelizing and sharing your faith, well, that takes some equipping. It, the, the, the simple way to evangelize, the easiest way at this point in the conversation is, Everything for the gospel is provided in a church service, and so when's the last time you invited your neighbors or your friends or family members that don't know the Lord? When's the last time in the workplace you just took a step and said, hey, um, why don't you come to a Sunday service with me? Or, you know, there's a Christmas uh, event for our women. It's a concert. It's going to be awesome. Or, hey, when's the last time you were at a, a Christmas Eve service? And, and those are conversation starters because you know this time of year in particular, there are people that don't know God or, or that are unchurched who are willing to go to a church service um, more than any other time of the year except Easter. And so I want to just give you this exhortation today. One person this week, okay? One person this week. Make it your effort, your aim through prayer as God guides you to invite one person to a church service. And you know what? If you did that every single week, I guarantee you your church would grow. God bless you. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.